Since I moved away from Rome, I've been a few times, but only to go to the Greek and Australian consulates for passport admin. This was the first day I really went back. We'd all had a morning of work meetings, so I just wandered through all my old neighborhoods. It was like meeting up with an ex. You feel nostalgia. You have some distance from them, though. You don't see them as you did when you were waking up together every morning. I feel like I lived a thousand lives in Rome. Every alleyway for me is laden with memories. In Rome, some years I had crazy parties, non-stop social events, hundreds of invites, hundreds of suitors. Then in other years, I had months of melancholy and solitude. I went deep into my creativity and would barely say yes to a coffee with a friend. I have been fiercely independent in Rome. And then in other times I've been proposed to by a few partners here, one of which I thought I would marry. Now, as I walk the streets and remember the wild nights, the tears, the joy walking home from the flower market each morning, the people who were all just characters of that moment, I realize that the Rome I lived will never exist again. I remember on Via Giulia one morning I was sitting having a coffee with these like 80 year old film directors and uh, they were saying that Rome will never be what it was once to them. And of course I smiled and declared with earnest enthusiasm, oh okay everyone knows nothing can compete with the golden era of Cinecitta, but I'm still enamored by this city. There is still so much that is like nowhere else in the world. And they smiled, but weakly because I could tell that they felt the Rome of their youth too deeply, so as to almost be offended by the state of the city that day. In some ways, now I kind of understand them. I lived in Rome in the last years before Instagram, before social media. There is still so much beauty, obviously, now, but like those old men, I'm slightly nostalgic for the Rome that I knew 15 years ago. The truth is, my situation has changed. I'm somebody's wife now, I have a child, I live in a house with a garden. How amusing it would be to travel back in time and knock on my door on Via de la Scrofa or Via di Montoro or Via de la Scala and tell that girl, guess what? 
you end up staying here. You make a life here. You end up doing exactly what you dreamed, but it will take a long time to make it happen. For lunch, I took Guido to a little trattoria that I like called Giulio Passami l'olio, which means Giulio, pass me the oil. No, no, better way. Let's spend the day. And you can keep away my tears and make. How was Rome for you? Beautiful. We Amazing had, Mar Margonara. We had Tonarelli, which is like a, 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 a square, thick pasta. Guido had carbonara, I had amatriciana. And then I had saltimbocca. That's yeah. very typical. And a carciofo. Um, Alla Romana. Artichoke. And I'm exhausted. I've been walking. While Guido was having his meeting, I was walking around for... Two and a half week, uh, hours, weeks. weeks. <laughs> yes, that was uh, a long appointment. Uh, but oh my gosh, so much nostalgia, so so many memories in this city. But I'm so. That's your nostalgia. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have. It. Yeah, you didn't have. It. No, but we were both saying though, as it's so beautiful. I mean, the courthouse even here is so majestic. Yeah. But we're so happy we live in the countryside. <laughs> yeah. No. Let's cross. Oh. Let's not get killed. Uh, no, cities are beautiful, but it's nice to go home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Three hours mm -hmm. in the big city, that's it. <laughs> yeah. That's there. There they are. There they are. <laughs> So they ended up breaking that piece up the top, which was a shame, but we glued it back together. And this is the finished wardrobe, which will be great for keeping. Uh, coats and things, or perhaps I'll turn it into uh, keeping Gianfranco's toys. I'm not sure. It's just so lovely and spacious. I really love that detail on the top. We've got to take all the masking tape off. It's actually fine. The problem is this wasn't going to go here. Then we decided it should go here. And uh, the, the ceiling is just not, not high enough for, it, uh, for them to put it together easily. So anyway. It's in now and uh, it's going to be very, very useful. This is the downstairs guest room, uh, which I can't remember if I've showed you before, but I have filmed here before. It's got the lovely, lovely headboards that uh, a lot of you have commented on the, the day, the time that I filmed uh, in this room. This is the second piece. Now, Guido originally got this for, the, uh, for our bedroom uh, and then he changed his mind uh, and then he thought he wanted it for a guest room, but we put it in the guest room and it didn't work with the air conditioners. It was too high. So I said it could just go into my office. Uh, I think perhaps this could be good, this uh, compartment here for keeping my tripods and, and lighting in. It's always hard to store uh, camera equipment. So yeah, I'm sure I can put it to good use. But it was just such a bargain price that we kind of thought uh, we should definitely get it and as seeing as we were paying for the truck to come all the way here uh, we, we thought we may as well add a few little extra pieces like this so 
So that's all in intact. Fortunately, they didn't break this one. Yeah, we love <laughs> moving covered. Yay, amazing. <laughs> but it's, it's so far, it's, it's working. Fine. It's working. Hopefully. <laughs> So this is it. This is the new wardrobe, which actually we're really happy with because even though it's not an antique wardrobe, the color sort of tones in perfectly with the wall. So you don't really, it's not heavy and it's not invasive. It sort of just blends in with the, with the wall and the rest of the room. And uh, yeah, it gives us so many, different compartments so for Guido's stuff and my stuff and then we still have this alcove here which uh, what do you think we should do with that we could put a curtain across it and um, put shelves in there or I've looked it's the exact shape of a, of a shoe uh, it's called in Italian una scapiera I don't know what's it called in, in English like a shoe closet I guess so that could be an idea but yeah in terms of the in terms of the, the wardrobe, we're just so happy. It's the perfect, it maximizes the space in this wall and, uh, and it doesn't come out too far. This door opens, uh, this, oh my gosh, the light coming into the bathroom this morning is so, so beautiful. And uh, obviously we haven't got the rug in. I haven't got the rug down yet because I didn't want yesterday with all the removers coming in with their shoes and everything and I still need to try to put something a protector thing on it I still need to buy it actually <laughs> and then over here are you ready Ta -da! this is another piece that we got uh, which is just to go between the two windows and the curtains still haven't arrived but this piece here is beautiful it gives us a, a lovely almost full-length mirror and I don't know if you can see the details, but it's quite, it's quite worn. I mean, it's not in perfect condition, but we really like it. It kind of goes with the beams and it fits into the space perfectly without uh, being too dominating. You know? um, so I love, its, I love its little feet and that opens up and has more hanging space inside and a, and a lovely big drawer. I'll show you some of the details. Oh, look outside at the day. It's just beautiful. Every day has been so bright and, and sunny and, and calm with no wind. Anyway, back to, <laughs> it's got some nice little details. And uh, oh, every time I catch sight of that bed, the raw time bed, I just feel so happy. I can't wait. I can't wait for the, uh, the duna cover to arrive or the duvet cover to arrive. And I think it's lovely. We weren't sure, we, were, we have a chest of drawers that we were going to put in the middle and then we just thought, look, this really makes use of the, of the, the space and, and uh, I, we don't have a full length mirror in the bathroom. So this is really handy. I haven't had a full length mirror in so long. I always get dressed and then I try and uh, stand on the bath or a bed to see the full outfit. but. Oh, look at this. I just love when you move into a new room, you discover all these different angles and 
and, and places that the light comes in and oh it's so so exciting. Inside I might actually line this with some lovely paper which I've ordered some some Florentine paper and then my father just has to adjust this because it doesn't open so easily uh, but yeah it's very exciting and then this light has to be hung up properly you see it's just we haven't got we haven't had the electricians come but it has to be we might uh, take away a few of the a few of the links and so that it's higher uh, just because otherwise it's a it's a bit uh, uh, well we might be a bit too sophisticated we were thinking um, but this has got sentimental value this light so uh, we want to keep it in the bedroom and uh, we have the side tables and we just need to get some lamps and I was wondering if if uh, if any of you have any ideas on what style what style of lamp um, I should get. Uh, keep in mind that the uh, the side tables are quite small so they don't really allow for a lot of room but I was sort of thinking something I don't know something not too fancy but uh, but not too modern um, and if you have any ideas of ears or, or something or, or designs just let me know because I've I've been looking around and I'm just not I haven't got my heart set on anything just yet ah there we go I just lifted the one of the side tables in and uh, if you look at the bed and the floor and everything what what style do you think would work I mean it has to be something fairly small so that you can also fit um, your phone or bottle of water or something and and uh, whatever else so uh, it's a bit of a hmm well I, I suppose we might get something secondhand but then I was thinking potentially something that's not secondhand but doesn't look too modern might might work so now we need a painting or a tapestry to go above the fireplace uh, it's quite quite big quite a big piece so you really want to choose well because you'll just be lying in bed looking at it and uh, it has to be something that we both love i went into this store and in rome on via marguta and it's a beautiful just a little uh, laneway that's known for gallery art galleries and and it, they had lots of antique tapestries but oh my goodness the prices were eye-watering uh and in, in any case they were too big uh for this space but oh they were so beautiful the other day, Guido, Gianfranco, my parents all picked wild greens growing on the hill of our burgeoning citrus orchard. Ciao, amore!
<laughs> like, oh my god! <laughs> Fresh bread done like this is like. Look at that grease. Okay. <laughs> you want to try to blow it? Sophia, Sophia, Sophia. <laughs> there are so many quiet, tranquil moments in my day with John Franco. I really cherish them just when we are watching butterflies and fluffy bumblebees land on flowers. Thank you, thank you. We seem to be raising a very tidy boy who likes putting things away, such as my shoes, as soon as I take them off. Bravissimo! Bravissimo, my love! Yeah, and the sock, and the sock. And the sock, bravissimo. Bravissimo, you can put it down here. Okay. And we go mix, mix, mix. Mix, mix, mix. Mix, 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 mix. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Bravissimo. That's a great spot. Oh, more. So balanced. Perfect. Beautiful. Beautiful. No, that's the peel. So I'll throw that in the compost. Yeah. Oh, careful. Let's move. <laughs> okay, where should that piece go? That's a great spot for it. What a good idea. Let's uh. take out the seed. <gasps> Wait, listen here. Put it here. Put it here. Good. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Now this one. You want to take this one? Oh, <laughs> what a, you're doing it so nicely. Yeah, I would have chosen there too, exactly. Okay. Dove metto questo peso? Qua, okay. Oh, now it's ready. <laughs> now it's ready for the oven. Okay, hang on, we have one more thing to add. Something that you've never had is chocolate. We put it all over. You want to put the chocolate on? Ora la metto nel forno. Sì, bravo. Okay, I'm just going to put it in the oven. Sono scarpe di mamma. Sono scarpe di mamma.
Thank you for watching. Thank you if you have subscribed to my channel. It helps me so much if you just click that little subscribe button. Thank you to these names on the screen now, the viewers who donate to this channel on Patreon. And I hope to see you next episode. A la próxima. That you would